Shares of Gap are jumping this morning after the retail company finally announced a new CEO. It's former Mattel executive Richard Dixon, who is taking the helm. Yahoo Finance executive editor Brian Sazi joins us now to discuss. We have talked about this for so long, Saz. Who could possibly lead this company and turn it around? Many have tried yes. without success. And many have failed. Yeah. Uh, this comes at a very interesting time for two different reasons. First, for Gap's perspective, what better time to tap the person that essentially saved Barbie twice and Richard Dixon uh, off of this really blockbuster opening for the Barbie movie. So they get a lot of hype, probably gives Richard at least six to eight months to build his team, get in there, really get into the trenches. Now he joined the board in November of last year, but really operationally get into the trenches and start to build and improve his management team and reinvent or try to just reboot that culture at the company. Uh, but then also, too, from his own perspective, Brad, you and I just talked to Richard at Cannes about a month ago. He was there uh, in, in Mattel capacity. I just saw him at the premiere a week ago. I did think it was interesting. He wasn't on the stage with uh, Mattel CEO and on cries. Uh, I thought it was a little strange at the time. Maybe now I know why, in fact, that was the case. But for him, he can't do any more uh, at Mattel. This is his Michael Jordan moment. He is leaving on top. He reinvented the Barbie brand twice. He brought it back to life, uh, increased diversity, inclusion with the brand. Now he has this movie. That is his, I think, just swan song at Mattel. But look, um, we've covered Gap for, for a long time. It's a stock I used to cover as an analyst, probably. I've been watching this company for 20 years. They've never really gotten anything right. And the stock is down about 70% over the past five years. They've lost considerable market share. Many people hate going in the stores. The fit continues to be a problem. The clothing is boring. And then, oh yeah, this is also a company that in, uh, in 2020 pulled back from breaking itself up and splitting itself and getting rid of that old Navy mm -hmm. division and splitting it off into a public company. So look, uh, Richard Dixon, uh, visionary type of leader, uh, has a proven track record of success, but he is going into the company with deep, deep fundamental problems. I'm changing my uh, my Slack avatar as we speak to our photo with Richard Dixon as from that interview a few weeks back. But you know, when we think about the the first 18 months for Richard Dixon stepping into this role, what do you think needs to happen? First playbook, I think he just needs to start rebuilding the culture of Gap. This is a company that has laid off thousands of human beings over the past five years. Most recently, 2,000 layoffs a couple months ago by Bob Martin, a uh, longtime chairman of the company, but has been the interim CEO. So he needs to, he needs to reboot that. And there we are, Richard, me um, and you, Brad, and Ken, right hey. on the pier in, uh, in France, working very, very hard against that backdrop of very blue water. So that was uh, Richard Dixon talking about Mattel and his Barbie movie. Um, but look, he needs to reboot the culture, and then he needs to really, I think, get visionary type of leaders to, re to lead each division. I would not be surprised if the current existing CEO of Gap leaves and leaves soon. He, I am sure he would have thought he would have maybe gotten this job in some mm. capacity. He's been there since 2020 leading that division. I think he just needs a complete reboot of the culture, complete reboot of the management team, and let's see what he can do. They did just hire a new person to lead Athleta, who came from yes. Aloe Yoga, which I thought was interesting. I'm just curious, someone who is at that point in their career, then sort of diving into what has been the black hole of the gap, it's going to be, it's... You can, it, there is nothing more, I think, a lot of uh, certain execs want to do than come in and you know, they have a vision of, of turning around a storied enterprise. They have this vision that they can come in and in two to four years, they have engineered this amazing turnaround and, and fixed a company that has been broken for 25 years or whatever it is. Hey. And that's a... That's very alluring and very attractive to a lot of executives. Whether Richard could do it, unclear. Uh, but if there's anybody that is finally going to do it, it is Richard Dixon. Um, but again, this is a, a retail industry that is extremely competitive. Yes. You know, I look at the other side of the mall and Abercrombie & Fitch completely reinvented, selling cool stuff. I think he has to do the same here. Well, as a longtime, one-time Gap customer, I'm rooting for them as always. Thank you so much, Saz. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.